Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with Golden Opportunities Coaching. Welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you who are seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is discuss a variety of psychological, emotional, coaching related topics and we do that on a daily basis. We do that in an audio format. Hopefully you find something you like. We've got over 250 audios available for your listening value and pleasure. Uh, and hopefully you can find something that's beneficial to you. Today we're going to talk about eight uh, signs about uh, how to choose what to invest in. Now, investment can be financial, investment can be relational, investment can be investment of time, but how do we choose where to put ourselves? Um, How do we choose what to put our time into? and um, our money into if it's a financial investment, our emotion into if it's a relational investment. There's eight steps that I want to run through there. So the first thing is, why am I doing what I'm doing? What are my goals with this investment? If it's a relational investment or an emotional investment, what am I hoping to get back? Do I need support? Do I need love and connection? Do I need, do I need variety in my life and this person's going to push my boundaries? Do I need to feel significant and they're going to make me realize my value? What do I need? If it's a financial investment, where do I want to end up? Is there a certain number? Is there a monthly number? Is there a yearly number? Is there a specific, you know, once I get to a million dollars, once I get to a thousand, a hundred thousand dollars, once I get to a certain number, can I stop? What, you know... What's it going to give me? And then where am I going to get with this investment? In other words, once it's complete, what will I have accomplished? These are all important things to question when making the investment. Also, figure out how long you want this to take place. In other words, if you're willing to make a lifetime investment in a, in a person, um, that's something like marriage or a, a permanent friendship. If you're willing to make a financial investment for five years, it's a different strategy if you're willing to invest only up until spring. Again, another strategy. So the length and duration of your investment factors in. So make a plan. How often are you going to research your investment? How often, if it's a relationship, how often are you going to put time into building and growing and and multifaceting that investment. If it's uh, a business, how ahead of the trends are you going to be? How much research are you going to do about what um, other people are doing in the same situation? Um, if it's if it's something like you're investing in a hobby, okay, what's the goal? Are you looking to perform? Are you looking to perhaps create something? So again. What's the length of investment and what's the plan for how it comes together? The next is diversify. Diversify, especially if it's financial, but also even in a relational investment or a personal investment or a business investment, do not become so focused on this situation. Do not become so one-track minded that you have nothing else going on in your life except this goal, this investment, this person, this this financial, um, you know, reality. In other words, never invest what you can't afford to lose, but also have the diversity to realize that you're going to be interested in different things throughout your life. Don't make your investment, personal or professional, the center of your life because then if something goes unexpected with the investment itself, you will in fact fall apart. You'll have negative emotions, you'll have a hardship in trying to recover, you'll have doubt about your own decision-making abilities, so diversity is a way to work around that. Also figure out if you need help. Do you need a financial advisor? Do you need, if it's a, a relational situation, do you need a counselor relationship coach? If it's a business situation, do you need a, need a business an, analyst, a marketing person? What people do you need to be around or situations do you need to be around for your investment to pay off? And 
the more people you're around that you can trust, the more you insulate your surroundings, the more likely it is that you'll reach your investment goals, personal or professional. If you only are counting on yourself, then ultimately you will eventually burn out because not only do you have your daily tasks, but you also have the tasks of knowing how to um, adapt to changes, how to emotionally handle, you know, especially if it's financial, a dip in things, how to basically cope with all of that. The next is how often will you check for changes in your industry, in someone's feelings, if it's a personal investment like a relationship, in the financial market, if it's a financial investment. Can you do that monthly? Can you do that quarterly? Should you do that twice a year? Should you do that once a year? You don't want to get in the habit of becoming addicted to checking for changes, especially in a relationship where you're annoying another person in the process. So have a predetermined length of time that you check for differences and trust that everything's going according to plan until you hear or see or witness differently. That trust can often be extremely difficult because at the end of the day, part of that trust is the surrender that you can adapt to any situation. But if you don't believe that that surrender is, is possible, then there's absolutely no point to even trying to invest in anything. Also, look at things to avoid. What are people doing around their, their relationships, their financial investments, their businesses? What are people doing that's failing? What's falling short? What's, um, you know, what's going in a bad direction? What are people smothering each other? If it's a business, are there trends in your industry that you're ignoring? Be proactive about watching for, for pitfalls because the more you watch for pitfalls, the better you can adjust your plan to, to commit to the highest chance of success. The last one is look over what you've done, celebrate your accomplishments, and be willing to admit when something didn't work out. Many times people who invest their time, their money, their energy um, become so embittered because they are looking for something to only work a certain way. And when it doesn't work a certain way, they throw the baby out with the bathwater metaphorically and they say nothing will ever work for me. So I'm going I'm to quit investing altogether. I'm going to quit being uh, focused on improving myself altogether. And that does not work and it will not work. And more accurately, it cannot work because adjustability and flexibility is necessary for any investment to pay off. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, we'll be back with more content. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.